Welcome to this Giftworks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I want to show you some of the improvements that we've made to the mailing capabilities in Giftworks 2011. To show you this, let's sign into Giftworks, and I'll click the Mailings button at the top. One of the improvements that we've made is the ability to change the paper size and the page layout for a letter in the letter library. And to show you that, let's click on Manage Letter Library, and then add a new donor letter. In the past, previous versions of Giftworks were only able to use an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. And now, um, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the size of the paper. Now you can also, on the left-hand side, with two th Giftworks 2011, click on Change Page Layout, and now you have the options to change the paper size and the layout or the orientation. So in this case, I'm going to change it to Legal, and I'll change it to Landscape. That's going to allow you to see how the paper size has changed. I'm going to change it once again. I'll change it back to Portrait a little bit smaller tab uh, statement size, click OK. Giftworks let you lets you choose from a list of standard paper sizes, and you just make, need to make sure that your printer as well supports this paper size to ensure that what you see on the screen will match what comes out on your printer. I'm going to change this down to A4 and allow you to see the paper size. So we hope that th those, these new paper size options and the layout will allow you to um, match how you're trying to print or perhaps a pre-printed card stock that you're trying to print on and that it, uh, it allows your mailing and your communications to be created um, the way you need them to be created. The next change I'd like to show you is in the area of envelopes. And for those users who use envelopes, uh, sometimes when you're printing on an envelope, perhaps a pre-printed envelope or a windowed envelope, you need to make adjustments to your layout of your return address or your mailing address. So let's go into envelopes. Allow this to print. So I see my envelopes and I see a little bit of return address and I see my uh, return address and my mailing address. And if I click on envelope options now under format envelopes, one of the changes that we've made is the ability now to see the ruler. So you see on the ruler I can change my indentation uh, for the return address or the mailing address. And then I can also use tabs um, for uh, adjusting the positioning um, and the layout of my return address and my mailing address. Uh, you can toggle these rulers on and off and to be able to so that you can uh, make those adjustments. The other change that we've made is under when I click on the change button for the label choice. I also, um, for each envelope, Giftworks makes its best attempt to determine where the return address and the mailing address should be laid out. But one of the changes that we've made in Giftworks now is if the indentation or um, those other changes that we've provided you, the, tab, the ability to tab, don't provide you the kind of control, you can also control where Giftworks begins to print the return address or the mailing address. So in this case, it's indicating that should be uh, 0.283 inches from the top, and I'm just going to make a little bit more drastic change. Uh, this is the return address, um, and if I click OK, you'll notice that the, the return address has dropped down a bit. Uh, same thing with the um, same thing with the mailing address. I can come here and from the left hand side, instead of starting three inches, I'm going to start two inches. Click OK. I'm going to reproduce my envelopes, and you'll see that the return. I mean, the mailing address has moved to the left a little bit. So for those uh, for th for those users who are using either pre-printed envelopes or perhaps windowed envelopes and need some finer adjustments or a little bit more major adjustments on where to print the return address or the mailing address, you can use both the format envelopes option to use the rulers to uh, make some adjustments as well. Or you can click on Change under Advanced Envelope Settings and adjust um, the, the top and the left settings for where Giftworks begins to print the return address or the mailing address. Uh, the changes that I showed you with the envelopes, uh, the ability to show the ruler, also applies to mailing labels. So if you use labels, you can now show the ruler to make some adjustments as well. We hope these small mailing changes have um, uh, will help you in uh, creating a a mailing or a, le a letter or an envelope or a label the way you want to create them. So changing the paper size or the page layout and then also these adjustment tools that we've provided for envelopes and, uh, and for labels. We hope these are helpful to you as you communicate with your donors. Thanks for taking time to watch this video and be sure to look out for the other videos that will show you some of the brand new features that we've included in Giftworks 2011. Thanks for watching.